Good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the channel. So it's kind of a rainy, wet, nasty day and uh, Scooter suggested let's bring the, the D8 in the shop and start on it. I said, Scooter, that's a, that's a good idea. So I've been uh, really wanting to get some video started on this Project Dozer. So some of the things that we know that's wrong with it is it needs manifold gaskets. So that's what we're starting on now. And it needs some undercarriage work. But we're going to start on the manifold gaskets first. Um, we've already got the hood off. Uh, we started a video once and realized the radio was on, so that was going to cause a copyright claim. So we just decided, well, we'll just start over with this video. So uh, what we have left to tear off is the muffler, uh, the air cleaner. That's all got to come off, and then that'll then we'll get the turbo off, and that'll get us down to the manifold. Um, we'll probably have to replace it with a new manifold, but we're going to get it apart to see first. Maybe we can possibly just throw gaskets in and put it back together, but I got a feeling it's going to need a manifold. So, uh, some specs on this Dozer engine. It's a D342 Caterpillar engine. It's around 300 horse. Um, it's got a 5.75 by 8 inch bore and stroke. So this is a piston out of a John Deere A, and this is five and a half. So this actually has five and three quarter inch pistons in it. So if you can imagine six of those moving around in there, there's a lot of stuff going on inside that block. Um, the rods are a lot longer in this than they are in the A. But that gives you kind of an idea of the size of the diameter of the pistons in this dozer. So it uh, holds, 35 quarts of engine oil and uh, 124 quarts of coolant. So it takes a lot to service this dozer every time it needs an oil change, unlike a five quart oil change in a uh, small vehicle. So Scooter and I are gonna get started, get the air cleaner off next, get that muffler off, and then uh, we'll get the turbo off and then we'll dig into that manifold and see what we got. Uh, from the way things look, uh, it hasn't been apart in a long time, so it might give us a little bit of a hassle getting the uh, manifold off. Another thing we discovered with this machine is uh, it seemed like when I played with it outside here a couple of days ago when it was nice out, it just seemed like it wasn't getting a lot of air and it acted a little funny too when I was loading it on the trailer. But if you can see up in there, I don't know if I can get the camera in there. Let me get the camera off the tripod and I'll show you here. You can see that the mice have plugged up the air intake. So it hasn't been getting any air. And I'll show you how they got in there. This was left open for I don't know how long, but the mice have been entering through there and they made them a nice little nest. So I believe this is a this needs a pipe that goes to the bottom of the muffler right there. So we're gonna have to come up with all that or make it. So anyways, Scooter and I will get started and get this tore apart. Okay, so we've got the two hardest bolts out already out on the uh, air breather canister here. So the ones on top next to the valve cover are tough to get out. So now we're gonna come get the ones out of the bottom here. subject scooter has his own youtube channel so if you're interested go check out scooter at scooter's world so i can put a link in the description below so you can find scooter's youtube channel oh i'm gonna need that uh small engine repairs yeah he does he does small engine repairs on his channel so if you got a snow blower weed eater uh push mower riding lawn mower Go watch him if you got a question. 
he may have an answer for you. He just done a pretty good video on uh, fixing a uh, frozen lawn roller that had uh, frozen split. So go check that video out. That's a pretty good one. Let's see if this will come out. Clamp wasn't even tight. Oh, look at the mouse droppings in there. Dad, here you go. Go, go clean that up. Might as well take it outside and just pressure wash it. That's nasty. Damn rodents. Now, all this thing's popped out here. We might have to get the pry bar and pop it out because I bet it's uh, been in there a while. Probably a little corrosion. Keep grabbing one of those pry bars. Now I see why uh, Clint at CNC Equipment decided to lift their toolbox up here with a forklift so they didn't have to get up and down. It's a long ways up and down off this dungeon. Here. Okay, so we've made the discovery that the bolts won't come out of the brackets for the air breather canister and we can't get the air breather canister up high enough to get over the nut on the one head stud. So we're going to just take turbo and all that off all at the same time. So we're going to get the muffler off out of the way, lighten it up some. gotten to the point where nothing will come apart with hand tools and impacts so it's time just to start burning stuff apart with a torch so we did get some bolts to turn but uh, they rounded off as soon as you try to hold them with the wrench uh, to get the nuts off so what we're gonna do we're gonna take these four off get this all off we'll get this to where we work on it on the welding table to get that broke loose and out of there We've disconnected the drain line for the turbo and the feed line, so if something falls, we're not destroying that stuff.
Get down on that track and it's going to happen like that. Yeah, that track there? Yeah. Have a good one. Yep. All right, so that part's off. Now we can move on to the turbo. Should be able to get this pried up and out of here now. We got plenty of help. Cut on a bed here, right in the turn. Where? Yeah. There, that's a loose. Oh, that gasket would help a little bit. There we go. There we go. Throw that up there in front. Be a good place for it now. Mm -hmm. Alright. So so Brick's here to help us now. Well now we have a little extra help. Well now we're down to that uh, exhaust manifold as you can see. So now the fun part, getting the nuts off the studs and hopefully the studs don't bust off in the heads. So let's see what happens. Okay, so now we're gonna clean things up a little bit we're going to put a mess stopper in here to keep any dust and debris out of there and we're going to put a five inch tile plug right here to plug the intake off now should we should we plug that no i'll we'll just leave it open it's just dust okay now we can blow all that off you want to blow it off or you want me to close your eyes okay
Hey, look at that. You might get lucky. <laughs> Next one? Yeah. You need to try with without heat? No, we better have heat. Let's, let's not push our luck. That one is so rusted off that uh, might be able to get it with one of the, uh, yeah, try this one, see what we got. Yeah, that right. That's a good one. Let's go more out. That's good thing. Just keep going through and seeing what we can get apart, and then we'll have to uh, come back to the real uh, nasty ones and come up with plan B on those. Ah! Okay, so we've got a total of three nuts that we can't get off, so we're going to start going back through and getting them off. This is one of them. So I'm going to try a uh, Irwin extractor on it it bites it get it hot it should come right off just the problem is uh, it's so rusty that socket just not grabbing it a lot of the flats are wore off Now, there's one easy one yet, and then the other one's kind of a tough one because it's right behind the intake manifold elbow. So let's see if we can get those out. This one out. I think we got it. As long as the manifold will come off. This one I'm just going to try to use a wrench on.
Yeah, I did just beat on that snap on her into the hammer. Somebody's gonna throw a fit. But hey, it's working. Yep. And we'll just buy some more. There we go. I think we got lucky. Now hopefully the manifold will slide out far enough to get past this elbow. We'll find out. Or to get past the studs. And we'll see what happens. Might be doing manifold gaskets, intake manifold gaskets too. The end of that wrench was pretty damn hot. I just grabbed it. Okay, let's see if we can get it off. Beat on a little bit of plastic hammer. Take the rubber and then pry on it some. Got a lot of rust build up in the studs. Oh, maybe not yet. Okay, so we've worked it back and forth a little more. Getting a lot looser. Just gotta get it off them studs. There it is. 
There it is. And it's off. Well, that was kind of a battle, but it's a part now. So we'll have to get all new studs, all new nuts. We're going to get a new manifold because this one's just, this one's pitted pretty bad. We cleaned it up with the die grinder and uh, I'm just not happy with it. So I'm going to have to get a hold of Clint down at CNC Equipment and uh, see if he can hook me up with some parts so we can uh, get it put back together. As you can see, those gaskets were trashed. So, yeah. So kind of a battle but you got to remember the difference between this d8 and the d8 that uh cnc was working on that one had way way less hours on it way less hot to cold cycles so uh that made it pretty easy to come apart uh this one has a lot more hours than that one so there was a lot more uh rust involved a lot uh, more corrosion on the nuts stuff was stuck i need to check that turbo over really good clean the bolts out of the flanges on it and stuff and uh see what shape it's in and see if i need to order one of them too but uh anyways i hope you enjoyed this episode of dirt grain steel if you liked it go ahead and give me a like i'd really appreciate that and thank you for watching i'm gonna go home and get some supper and sit in a lazy boy for a while i'm kind of tired so thank you for watching i'll see you all in the next one